In this video, I've got an epic plan. Build a frog kingdom for my pet frog. The only problem is, I don't actually have a pet frog. Yeah, that's just a minor detail. So of course, I immediately set out on a quest to find a frog. I actually spotted the new 1.19 cows, and when I found this village, I started asking myself very deep and profound questions. I've always wondered, what actually is this meant to represent? Is it like a bench? Or could it even be a bus stop? I don't think it's a bus stop, but yeah. Oh, and obviously the villagers put the hay bales in the enclosure like that the cows can go out extremely smart people they are. Oh, and there's a cow taking a bath. I mean, they do treat their animals pretty well, mm. fair enough. Well, unlike me. Oh wait, let's have fun guys. What a sight to see, villagers panicking. Now I can steal in peace. I've decided to tame two dogs, so obviously you can choose a name in the comments below. And as for my other pets, I decided to choose Socks for the horse, and lush for the axolotl. I'm curious to see what's behind this huge hill. Oh wow, the ocean. Oh, and I see the iron golem is well treated here, just chilling in the hot tub. I love this lag when the chest just doesn't open. Lovely. Well, I guess the ocean wasn't that bad because I actually came across a mangrove, finally. What block is that? Mud. It doesn't sound like mud. I don't know if it's just me. It sounds more like some soft deep slate. Oh, hello there, new mob. Oh, oh, I don't believe you can actually tame a frog and it'll follow you everywhere. But if I give that little guy some slime and that other guy over there, I will get some tadpoles that I can take in a bucket. So that is definitely what we're gonna try and do. I love how they walk, it's just adorable. As I will be in here for quite some time, I will make myself a little mud house, you know, just to chill for a bit, because I need to wait for the night to come and hopefully slimes will spawn. Okay, so there is the beautiful mud house. I know it is so um, impressive, guys. Really, it's wow. <laughs> I'm definitely going to use that in the thumbnail. It's gonna work so well. Now, I wanna see like a frog eating one of the slimes. That would be funny. Oh my God, okay. Yeah, not you. I don't wanna see you. <gasps> oh, look at that. He's really enjoying himself there. Hopefully, if I let them breed around here, they will go in the water and lay their eggs. Let's breed them. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is wait for them to hatch and when I get some tadpoles, oh, no, 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 no. What happened? Oh, great, I've lost my dog and I didn't even have time to name him. Great, oh. Oh no, there you are. Oh my god, you scared me. Oh, you can get a knotted shell. How incredible. I now have a lead. You know, I have my new pet frog, guys. Oh my god. <laughs> I mean, they are pretty big frogs. I mean, if you compare the size of a wolf and this frog, it's um, quite impressive. I'm going to go check if the eggs... Oh no, the eggs have hatched. Oh, look at that little tadpole. <laughs> And look at these little guys in the bucket, so cute. Now that I had my tadpoles, I decided to go home and I actually found two of the rarest biomes in Minecraft, which was pretty cool. Okay, I'm gonna try and make it over there. A great tip I have for you guys is if you don't see them, they can't see you. I mean, it's just scientifically proven, you know. Da -da 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 -da. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna raise one tadpole in the cold biome and one tadpole at my house. Like that, I will get two different colors for the frogs. I think I'm gonna name you Joey. Now I'm gonna deal with his sister. Oh my, why did I say sister? Because I'm planning on breeding them. Oh well. I'm actually gonna put some torches just in case so that the water doesn't freeze. And I'm gonna name her Beatrice. I know that if you give them slime, they can grow faster, but I was thinking I should maybe keep my slime for the moment because I really don't have a lot. So it's time to plan out the kingdom. So first of all, we have a large rectangle for the walls, which will have to be eight blocks high. So the most important thing is having a castle. On each side of the castle, I will have the forge and the bakery. 
And then I will just add, you know, some little houses for the frogs to live in, as well as a pond and some paths just going around the place. So the very first thing I had to do was, of course, collect some blocks for the building. I was planning on using mainly blocks that you would find in the mangrove, and that is why I needed to enter the nether, because I could reach the mangrove much quicker than in the overworld. I also used the leather and the sugarcane I had collected to build a temporary enchanting area in my attic. I then popped into the nether and attempted to approximately calculate where the mangrove swamp would be situated. And I was going in the wrong direction. Super duper smart. Whoops a daisy. I actually managed to find the mangrove on the very first try, but I realized it would take way too much time to collect the mud with an iron shovel. So I decided to head back into the nether to mine some quartz to get plenty of levels. When I came back into the overworld, I noticed that Joey was missing. And guess what? He had actually grown up and was wandering about in the plains. I then went to see his sister, but basically she hadn't grown up because her pond was too far away from the house. I managed to get Efficiency 4 and Silk Touch on my shovel, and then I went back to the mangrove to collect a bunch of dirt. Once I had loads of mud, I turned them into some mud bricks, but I ran into yet another problem. Basically, my shovel had no health left, so I had to go trade with a villager to get a mending book to be able to repair it. Finally, it was time to start building the castle. I started terraforming the area where I was going to do the build, and once it was nice and flat, I started building two identical towers out of mud bricks. And I also spent 10 minutes just staring at Beatrice until she finally grew. I then bred Joey and Beatrice to populate the future kingdom and set back to work collecting a ton of resources and working on the roofs of the towers. I wanted the castle to have a cute, funny feel to it. That's why I only made three towers, and that's also why they are a little bit thicker in the center. I soon realized my tools were running out of health super fast, so I needed to get mending on all of them. But before putting mending on them, I decided it would be much smarter to get efficiency 4 first, so I went back in the nether, killed off some pigmen, mined some quartz, etc, and I was able to enchant my pickaxe and my axe. I then went back to the mangrove to chop down a bunch of wood, and I made plenty of stairs and mangrove fences, because I was going to start working on the huge wall all around the kingdom. The main block for the wall would be mud, so I started building the outline of the kingdom out of mud blocks. I then chose a design for the walls, so I built eight block high mud columns, and to add a bit of detail, I added some stairs as well as some fences, and actually even some bamboo. This actually was a really long process because I just had to go all around the kingdom walls, and it just took ages, but it was very important to do if I didn't want all my frogs to be jumping away. As for the gaps in the center of the wall, I was actually going to place some glass panes because I thought it would be nice if we could see inside the kingdom when we're walking outside the walls. Once the walls were finally accomplished and I was exhausted and fed up, I did something even more exhausting and annoying, which is terraforming. So I just filled up with dirt the entire center of the kingdom. I mean, honestly, making the walls was way more fun because, you know, there was a little bit of detail to add, whereas there it was just place a dirt block, place a dirt block, and that's it. And I mean, just look at the day we're on, day 97. So yeah, that took quite some time. So Joey and Beatrice will definitely be living in the main castle, but I'm still gonna show them around even though there is not much to look at yet. I'm actually gonna let them run around a bit just to make sure they can't get out. I'm so scared about that part there. I decided to, you know, make it slant down a little bit, but now I'm worried that if they're here, they can maybe jump over there. I don't know, hopefully they can't. I've got to say they are the most spoiled frogs ever. <laughs> 
So the main castle was almost done, but the big tower in the center was missing a roof. So I started off by filling it in, you know, just in case I fell when building the roof like that, I wouldn't take too much fall damage. And then with all the mangrove wood I had collected, I started building the pointy roof. That was real social distancing breeding. I mean, wow. It was great to have some walls in a castle, but I was missing, you know, all the houses in the kingdom. So I decided to start working on the bakery and I realized I couldn't do just basic houses. I actually had to elevate them at least eight blocks and then start building the house because if the frogs would jump onto the roof, they could easily just jump out. Uh, guys, I kind of made a mistake there. I completely forgot about uh, the eggs and the tadpoles. So yeah, uh, I have no idea which one is Joey. So <laughs> I feel a bit stupid, but yeah, we've got a bunch of frogs running around. Let's get back to building. So yeah, basically this is the bakery. So I made a little chimney where the bread gets cooked and I added some, you know, simple windows and plant pots. And I also made it super tall so that hopefully the frogs won't get out. I don't know why there's written Forg Fui Tain, but <laughs> I'm planning on building two frog fountains on each side of the castle. And let's see what's written here. Froge Fountain, yeah, uh, excellent writing. I didn't write that in a rush at all. I finally have the entire frog gang. So yeah, we can make our way back home. This will be your kingdom very, very soon. Yeah, somehow I feel something is gonna go wrong there. Here goes nothing. Oh, it might actually fit. Oh, the last one's struggling. Oh my God, the last one. <gasps> oh dear, oh dear. Oh, something's wrong, okay. <laughs> oh dear, I think they both wanna come in. <laughs> it looks absolutely crazy. There, enjoy yourselves, guys, enjoy yourselves. I then started working on the forge. So I wanted it to contrast quite a bit with the bakery. That is why I used some cobblestone and some oak logs. Nevertheless, what was important to me is that each house of the kingdom had a connection with the other. That's why I decided to use some mud bricks for every build. Okay, so I'm finally done with the bakery. Well, I didn't really do much. I just added a few windows and I also added a floor. So yeah, I'll need to add a ladder and I'll probably put some hay bales and item frames with bread, etc. And as for the forge, I finished the overall build. I just need to add a few windows and details as well as a floor and decorate the inside. So I've actually realized if I do the froge fountains um, on each side, basically the frogs, the actual ones, can jump on top of the wall and run away. So I actually made a lily pad pond around here and I'm gonna build the frog fountain right here. So hopefully, yeah, they won't be able to um, jump out. By the way, this is not my build. So I will leave the name of the original person who made it, obviously. But yeah, it's really too cute and I had to add it in my village. There we have it, our little frog fountain. All I need to do is add the water. There we go. Oh, and I'm probably gonna put a few slabs there like that the water doesn't go everywhere. And there we have it, our adorable little frog fountain. And this frog right here is very happy about it. The frog village is slowly coming along. At that point, I took a little break from the building to, you know, kind of restore my tools as they all had mending on them. And I also collected a bunch of stone and started building a little tower. So it would probably be the watchtower where the frogs would go up and like keep a lookout in case some axolotls came along to eat the tadpoles. I don't know. <laughs> Once the tower was done, I started working on the three other village houses. So the first one was very simple, you know, just a small house with a very basic roof. 
After that, I wanted to do a bit of decorating and I had added, you know, a few small bushy trees around the place. Small, of course, because I didn't want the frogs to use them to get out. But I decided it would be nice to have a natural big tree. So I tried to put it in the center of the village to prevent the frogs from jumping out. But the issue was it actually completely hid the house I had just made. But oh well. I then started working on another village house, so I actually kept the same block palette as the small house, but I just made a way higher roof. But I mean, the overall house was just exactly the same, just a little bit larger and higher. I then started working on another house, so this would be a small one. Basically, it was in the corner and we wouldn't really see it very well, so there wasn't much point in making it huge and extravagant. I used a lot of spruce wood for the roof and obviously I put some mud bricks for the walls to kind of stay in the village theme. And finally, the last village house. So for this one, I wasn't really sure what to do, but I had quite a bit of space to work with. So I decided to do a pretty large village house with actually a sort of little shed going on the side. So I made a slightly slanted roof for the shed and a huge roof for the main house. Like that it went super, super high. And I thought it looked really nice because it adds a few different levels and contrast in the overall village. I was still missing quite a few cold frogs, you know, to kind of have every single frog type in the village. So I went in the cold biome and waited for them to grow up. So here is the finished result of the village. I'm actually really happy about it. I really didn't think it would turn out that cute and all that cozy. So I am pretty happy with the result. Thank you so much for watching guys. I really hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you in the next episode. Love you.